guys and welcome to my channel. Today I am bringing you three spring DIYs um, that are mostly from dollar store items. I will share each supply, each uh, one with you, the process, the supplies, and everything that goes with it. Uh, my name is Sonia and this is Domestic Diva 76. So if this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy this video and at the end, if you are enjoying it, hope you give me a thumbs up and press the subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads. This video is also a part of a DIY spring challenge hosted by Happily Thriving Heidi, Heidi Sambo, and I will have her channel linked down below in my description box. If you are not following Heidi, she is such a great DIYer. Uh, she makes so many wonderful things on her channel and she hosts challenges all the time. So make sure you go check her out if you haven't done so already. And give her some love, subscribe. So without further ado, let's get started. So for this first project, I had picked up these birdhouses at Dollarama and I will be making Ray Dunn inspired birdhouses. And these are, these were 350. And then I also had one of these left over from my previous decor, but no longer wish to use it. So I'm gonna use that one as well. And then I am going to use this glossy ultra cover to um, Rustoleum paint. Uh, so it is very glossy. So I'm hoping it gives me that ceramic look. And I'm either going to use a Sharpie or this um, water-based paint in black it has fine point it's by sharpie as well and i picked it up at dollarama as well it does um work pretty good on painted surfaces better than sharpie but sometimes it's funny so that's why i said both and then i just need a craft knife and i picked this one at dollarama as well for two dollars you get a craft knife knife and a extra blade i think there's only one blade here Let's check. Yes, there's, oh no, there's like, oh wow, there's four blades here. And then uh, a knife. I don't know how good it is, but we'll, it's going to be better than the one I currently have because it needs a new blade. And then I saw this and I thought, well, this will give me a knife and a blade. So I'll have two of them because I always seem to lose one. Now I just need to make sure I don't use my blades. <clears throat> so first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try and cut these little tips off. Now I'm going to spray and paint them. So here are the houses all dry and now I'm going to use my marker to do the font. all done and I'll show you how they look with my decor. For my next project I had picked up, I'm not sure I'm going to use all of these, but um, I had picked up different size of foam 
styrofoam balls like these were dollar fifty as well as the bigger ones these are from Dollarama and then these were two for dollar fifty so you can see the different size and then I also picked up uh, smaller ones and these were dollar twenty five then you need a pair of scissors hot glue and for sure extra hot glue sticks and if you can protect your fingers because this one will definitely I'm definitely going to burn my fingers then I picked up the jute cord for four dollars at Dollarama green moss as well from Dollarama and then I'm not sure if I'm going to use this but I have some burlap just little pieces of it I might use it I might not we'll see so that's what you need so I'm going to preheat the glue gun and open up all of these the ones that I think I'm gonna use I'm going to empty up the moss into here just so it to control the mess So I'm going to use my medium size ball first. I'm just going to move all the stuff out of my way. And I'm just going to put tons of hot glue. have a moss ball and then the next one so I'm gonna cover a couple small ones with that as well and then the next one I am going to use this rope I'm going to put some hot glue right in the middle Then I'm going to start and just do a little dabs. So here it is, just a few minor burns, but um, I survived. Uh, it is, I think it's very pretty. But it's very time consuming so maybe if you are strapped for time maybe do a smaller one not i did the biggest one now the next one i'm gonna try and cover up with some burlap here it is it doesn't it's not perfect but once you trim off all the little loose ends it does look kind of neat and it gives just a different texture so now I'm gonna do the same thing for a couple of the smaller ones and uh, then I'll show you what it looks like all on a display what I had in mind
for this last project, um, I have printed these out and I will have the pr free printables link down below for you to print them out yourself. And then you need scissors or a cutting, um, some sort of a cutting device, uh, some tongue, tongue depressors or large popsicle sticks, uh, these stacking blocks um, that you can get at the dollar store, and then some form of a rope. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these to the size that I want them. So obviously I don't want any of that on them. So now that they're cut, you're going to need a hot glue. And I'm just going to put some hot glue on there. And then on here as well. And I'm just putting a very thin layer. Repeat that on all of them. And now for the front, I'm going to use these blocks. are done I'm going to show you what they look like hung up so I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you go check out Heidi's channel as well as the playlist that will be linked down below and um, like I said if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, thank you, welcome. Hope you stick around pressing the subscribe button. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.